Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Jay Madan. I do couple of things. Vastu is one of them. Astrology, face reading, palm reading, your feet reading, all of it. But today I am going to talk about evil eye with you. What is this concept of evil eye all about? People wear evil eye bracelets all the time. They have it in their house. What is the right way to place it? What do we do with this? What does it actually really does it serve our purpose? Let me tell you. So evil eye is like you know long back maybe when I was a little girl I used to remember that you know when new houses were made ऐसे भूत जैसा face बना देते थे you know on a earthen pot ऐसे उसको नजरिया बोलते थे थी so and even when kids are born here you'll see them wearing black and uh, you know those silver ball bracelets and things on their feet a black thread tied with a knot saying नजर नहीं लगेगी so what is this concept of nazar all about and is this evil eye really workable kya ye kaam karti hai let's figure it out so right now as i'm talking to you and the place where you're sitting in we have bacteria viruses all around us right you also have around you i also have around me but the moment my immunity gets weak i suddenly catch hold of flu or maybe a fever or something something why maybe you don't get it so it's all about our immunity similarly when we are too much filled with stress negative emotions anger extreme passion our aura suddenly breaks out and whatever you know negativity we have around people keep throwing negative thought towards us it just gets absorbed in our aura and we feel depleted you know a lot of people do feel it when they go out for a party they attend a social circle they are center of attraction and next morning they feel oh thakavat ho rahi hai my body is aching i don't know what is happening to me well your aura got raptured so if you keep feeling again and again ki nazar jyada lag jati hai problem aa jata hai evil eye really does work whether you wear a nazariya you wear any uh, peer baba ki thing on your hand on your feet or maybe evil eye so evil eye is supposed to be placed at a place where people actually look at it so when you look at it 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 takes in all your negative energy if you have so but you have to cleanse it so whether you wear an evil eye bracelet or you have an evil eye at home you need to cleanse it on weekly basis it's like rock salt rock salt also absorbs all the negativity so does evil eye but you need to keep cleansing it every week cleanse it cleanse it whether it's a bracelet or it's in your car or it's in your home your office area so that when it absorbs all the negativity you clean it with salt water and you know salt water and then you clean it so that it gets washed off again and it's again back to its purpose so just keeping an evil eye won't work a it should be visible to people so that people look at it and it absorbs all the negativity which is on your way but the evil eye absorbs it and then you cleanse it with salt water so that it's washed off and back on the purpose again so this is the concept of evil eye i hope you enjoyed the video